Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm glad you stopped by today. My name is Gina. I'm going to be working on the 52 card challenge by Shinooki Art and I'm on card 13. And so today the for this one is the props are botanicals, fabric, texture, and label. Oh hi kitty. What you want girl? What you want? <laughs> um so, uh, I totally forgot about label. Well, I'll have to find a label. Uh, <laughs> I've got my um, Tim Holtz stamps here, so I, whoa, 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 they fell out, I'm sure. I could not keep them on that thing. They were coming off and falling, so, all right, there's a label. I'll get a label out of here. So I put them in this little thing. I'm on the hunt for a better solution but I just needed a fast solution and I put them in this because they just kept falling out every time I got that out got them out like one would fall here there and everywhere I, I don't know if I got a bad one but mm. and and I hadn't even hardly used too many I got them for my birthday Christmas and hardly some of them I hadn't even taken out of there so I don't know but anyway I'll show you what I've got well here's my playing card um, for my fabric, I have this, which I should have got apart. I got this at, um, yeah, um, Dollar Tree. And it's pretty, I think. Especially for a dollar twenty-five. It's a fat quarter. Um, that's not a ton of it, but when you're going to put it on a little bitty card, that's way plenty. But let me show it to you here. It has bees on it. So I thought that would be pretty for my fabric. So got that. And texture, another Dollar Tree. I guess I'm just doing Dollar Tree. I wished I had this in white. But I do not. I keep watching for them to get this in white. And since I decided I want this, it's not been in white. I've seen it and seen it and seen it. I'll probably have to wait till Christmas. But, or maybe they'll have it. I don't know. I don't know that anyway. Um, I'm just out of luck right now. I finally decided, hey, I think I like that stuff. I just shredded it there. But I thought this might give some good texture. And really, once you put it on there, it's not very pink. So I hope I didn't shred that. I did. Oh, dear. How far did I shred it down? Just to there and there. Okay, good. <laughs> so I've got that. And... Uh, label I'll have to figure out now my I'm going to make a specimen card and I have um, I have this for my botanical picked out so I'm going to go ahead and take this page out of here this is a fabulous book if you have never seen me show this book one thing I love about this book is every page is flowers on one side, writing on the other side. So you do not have to choose, like, do I want this side or that side? And it's beautiful, beautiful flowers. And they're smaller sizes, so you can just cut and cut and cut and cut. I mean, and you guys, I got this for 50 cents. Yep, I did. I mean, it's just, it's amazing. This book is amazing. It is called The Complete Handbook of Plants by Michael Wright. And, um, is there like a, a number that you want? Here's, here's that. There's a number. There's a number. Um, 
I don't see any. I don't know where to find them. I've never figured that out. Here's all this. Right here. It's a fabulous book. Fabulous, fabulous book. I'm telling you, if you like flowers, you like to cut flowers, there you go. Okay, so I'm going to stick this onto the manila folder. We are having wacky weather. Are any of you having wacky weather? Yesterday we were under severe thunderstorm weather. In fact, I haven't watched my video yet. I need to watch my video because it was it was wacky. <laughs> it was storming. It was going crazy. Our phones went crazy. And we, um, I tried to look at my husband's and I couldn't see anything on it except for <laughs> data warning, which I don't know why it gives us a data warning. We have unlimited. Um, then I got to look at it and we had tornado warnings and there was a tornado like I don't know I, everybody said between the bridge and the town over so that's by about 3 to 15 miles away somewhere in there <laughs> this was all going on while I was just recording a video <laughs> and my friend picked me up this morning. We were going to an estate sale and we drove by the little library. We live in a little village. We drove by the little library and the windows were out and the blinds were just flying out the window. I called my husband. I said, you got to call her tell her. They had no idea. And the door was blown in and everything. I said, you got to call them and tell them so they can go get that fixed. <laughs> so <laughs> I was recording a video through all this and then all of a sudden I was like, oh boy, it's hailing. <laughs> On I go with the video. Well, I'm determined. We, we pick up our granddaughter tomorrow and I've got the video set so they're every other day and I'm determined to get enough videos up to where I can be totally present with my granddaughter while she's here. I don't want to be doing videos while she's here. I want to get it to where I'm totally present while she's here. I, I don't know when we last had her. Um, probably two years. And I just don't want to be making videos while she's here. I, I, I want to be with her. <laughs> And so, I was like, uh, I have a moment to make a video. In this past week, we've had doctor's appointments every single day. We've been gone every single day. We had that crazy day where our wheelchair fell off our truck and we lost it. And we had to backtrack for an hour to find it. And I mean, it's just been, oh my goodness. This is just drifting up crazy. Oh my. <laughs> so, yeah. I, um, <clears throat> I forgot to cut those windows out before I cut it out of that. So, oh geez, I threw that on there. Um, yeah, it's just been crazy. And I, I was just recording away. <laughs> I don't know if you could hear the thunderstorm or not, but it was loud. <laughs> so today, it's, yesterday it was in the 70s, thunderstorming today. I don't know what the temperature was, but it felt a lot colder than the temperature because the wind is so, it's so, so windy and it, it's so cold. So I came out of the estate cell with a huge bag and two other bags. <laughs> came around the corner of that house and the wind decided it wanted my hat. <laughs> I was like, 
trying to save my hat and save my save my bags and <laughs> carry my bags. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's like, oh, I've had this hat on with my wet hair. I don't want my hat to fall off because you know how that looks. <laughs> I had to get up really early, early and I just, I just put, it's a hat day, that wind is crazy, no matter, I've got really thin hair, I'm losing my hair because of my medicines, and I thought, I'm just wearing a hat, I'm just doing as little as I have to to my hair, and I'm just wearing a hat because my hair just, it's so thin, baby fine thin, and so little of it that that wind is going to kill it. I'm putting my hat on. <laughs> and then the wind tries to take my hat away. <laughs> All right, here we go. Got that done. I think I'm going to um, run out with my black. my um, cut lines are not showing. Try not to get the black all over me. Probably would have been better to go around it with a black marker, but oh well, I'm almost done with it now. That's for stamping later. So then we will pull this in half. Oh, I didn't quite get it in half. Oh, shoot. This is the hardest part about this one. It's getting it lined up right. Because you think you have it when you fold it. It looks like you're folding it in half and you're not. Let's see. Okay, that's pretty good. That's probably as close as I'm going to get without, if I keep at it, I'm going to really kind of tear it up, I think. I'm going to I think I will go ahead and just, well, if I turn it over, well, no matter which side I do, I'm going to have to cut it, right? Because one side is, I mean, it's going to be wrong. make the side I use right. All right, there we go. Uh, I did not think about a clear thing. So, um, <laughs> let's see. Oh. 
see what I got in here. Let's see if I got anything in here. Surely I do. Ow. Mm -hmm. Cut into the other flower. Okay. This should only take a minute here. Try to get it where you can see. A lot of times I like my bigger ones, but it's time to get into these itty bitty spots. Then it's time to grab the little ones. But I feel like I get smoother cuts with my bigger ones because you can go further, you know, before you have to stop and readjust the scissors. Got such a longer blade. getting in my way. It's holding me back. It's not stark white. Okay. Now let me put some glue in here. This is too big, so I'm just going to put it on there and then I will um, just smoothen out that glue and then I'll cut it down. Thank you. 
honestly it didn't even need to be as big of it as this. I didn't even think about that. I don't know what I was thinking. Okay, now... Well, I don't have a backer on that, do I? <laughs> oh, Gina. That's gonna go like that, so I need to cut this off down here. That's going to go like that. Now I need to figure out what my backer is going to be. I will have a backer. Let's put some fabric on here. Set that up there. Do I have my pin in there? Yes, I do. Okay, so... Oh, I love the frayed edge on this. That's going to go on there. I'm not going to cut that off of there. We're going to put that on there. Okay. So... I need to. I'm not going to cut the co cover the card all the way up though. I'm going to cut this. Tear this out. Boy, I'm having a hard time here. <laughs> okay, this is going to go up to the edge on this side. And then I want this to go about right. Just all right. I need it to tear just a little bit further. Where well, is good down here? I need it to tear right to tear right. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, I hope I got it right. Yes, that's how I want it to be. Because I kind of want the five stick it out, peek it out of there. Okay. So I'm going to put the, back, the fabric over here out of the way. And then I'm going to try to fray this a little bit. It won't be frayed like the other side, but I want it to have a little bit. Oh, hi, baby. What you doing? <laughs> She's very lovey-dovey tonight. Well, it's not like her. <laughs> she rarely makes an appearance here. What are you doing? You leave that alone. Leave that alone. No. No, no, no. So then I'm going to put some glue. Where's my glue? I didn't get my glue out. I'm going to put some glue on here. What's up with you tonight, huh? doing out here. underneath my fabric. I don't like that at all. No big lumps. I don't want it to show like that under my fabric. And I've got, I'm going to have one right here if I don't get this straightened out right here. And I'm pushing it out. If it's going to come out, I want it to come out on my mat right here. It's getting 
down on my thing too. I got way too much on there is the problem. But it's coming out down on my mat. That's okay. I'll get it off my mat. I'd rather get it off my mat than have big lumpy messes on my... I don't know what I was thinking putting that much glue on there. I should have just tacked it on. It's been a while since I did that. <laughs> what I was thinking. But it's it's doing okay. It's okay. It's okay now. It's smoothed out and it's not... Um, it's okay now. Now I just got to get that off of there. And I can do that real quick. I think it's still wet enough that I can just there we go all right that's this is my messy icky icky bag and <laughs> icky towel it gets all the ugh, stuff <laughs> okay now scarlet I need some stuff here um, honey Honey, I need some stuff. I need I need this paper right here. I need this paper. Can I have this paper? Can I have this? Thank you. Okay, I think this would look good behind this. Yeah, this will work. So I'm going to cut that first. Oh, let me cut my fabric. Okay, cut that up. I scrap very well with her in here. Or create junk journal, whatever I'm doing. I don't do it very well. I don't know about this behind there. It's, it kind of blends in really well. Maybe I put a little bit of that, that behind there too. My band aid keeps throwing me off. I keep looking like, what is that? Okay, so I put that behind there. I haven't got the flower down yet. It, maybe I should glue the flower to the parts that I can because it's moving around like crazy and driving me nuts. I'm going to put it like that so I could glue it. I need my this one. I could glue it right here. Now I'm going to turn around. Oh, it moved. I want it like that. Right there. I'll hold it down. Okay, so what if I put some of this behind it? Put this back here. Yeah, I kind of like that. I, I didn't think about doing that before. But if I put that there, and then put that there. Yeah, I like that. Okay, let's do that. That works. Okay, let's cut a little piece of this. I'm still going to use this somewhere else, I think. Because I really haven't planned on doing that. But let's put that. Hey, you know what I could use? What about a piece of this? Where is it? I've cut this somewhere, haven't I? Yeah. Cut it right here. Hey, that looks better. Got a piece of that. That looks a lot better. It's not dark. Okay, let's use that. Let's go. Oops, oops, oops. Okay, and cut a piece of that. Let me see what size I need. Let's just cut it right here. I need my fabric scissors again. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I got that put together while I was on the phone. I think it looks really good. I just put the fabric and then the um, other stuff while we were talking and it really doesn't show. So, I don't know. But anyway, so uh, I need to figure out where I'm going to put it because I got to have texture on there. But you know, actually this might work as my texture. 
Maybe, I think I might put it down this strip along with that. So, fabric scissors again. I'm going to cut this down to the end here. Just going to try it right between where those are attached. This is an old hanky. I don't mind putting it up. I like putting it to this. Tatting on the edge is absolutely stunning. So I like using it. Yes, that is beautiful texture. So I'm going to run a line. I gotta clean off the tip of my glue bottle though. Let's see. No. Yeah, no. I'm not real sure where it goes. Sound like Scarlett's getting in trouble in the kitchen now. Oh, that's way too thick. Just a thin line. Put that down. I'll leave it too long. I don't think I'm going to cut that off. I like that. Okay. Get that extra. I'll have to clean my bump over off. <laughs> okay, so then I think this is going to go right here. I pulled out some um, stamps that I want to stamp. This says number four, eight, I know. Why do I want to stamp it? No clue. I just want to stamp it. <laughs> I just like it. I'm going to stamp it right here on the thing here. There is a lot of... I might, you know, I might stamp a longer one. I might stamp a longer one. I just thought of that. I could stamp something longer on there. Like this one. Smaller. Or this one. I really like that one. I'm doing that one. There's that one too. I just sometimes I have a hard time deciding. I think I'm gonna do this one. I like that one. I just have a hard time. I, I get in here and I'm just like, I don't know. Because they're all so cool. They're just like, mm -hmm. I'd like to have that collect number 850, but I don't know how I would. I guess I could put the marker on there, but I don't know. That'd take too long. Because I just love this set. Where'd the one I wanted go? Oh, no. Where'd it go? Where did it just go? Where did that stamp just go? I thought I left it out. I'm confused. Oh, is this? No, this is the strap. Oh. Um, where did that stamp just go? What is going on here? There's that. If I don't find it, we'll use it. I'll have to find it. Where did it go? What just happened here? Oh, there it is. I don't know. That was weird. going to Michael's tomorrow. Let me find me something better here. This one. That little thing just don't work. Well, Michael 
Oh, some Joanne. I'm going to find me some. Oh, that and Dollar Tree. They find me something there. I'm going to find me something better. Okay, so we got that. label onto here. Okay, maybe I'll stamp it down here where there's like little lacy parts. It probably won't show, but I'm going to do it. Yeah, it really doesn't show and that's not a good... There. That's better. Okay. lost. And cut this out real quick. in here and put this on here. Let's glue that down. Oh I got that. okay. I was thinking oh I gotta put that pink stuff on here but I got this on here for some texture. my butterfly punch and I want to use it on here so what I want to do and I'm hoping this will work I'm going to use this file folder underneath here and I'm hoping this will work those are going to be upside down I don't really care I don't care okay let's see uh, yeah there right there thank you <laughs> I think the big one's too big, so I think I'm just going to use the little one. Put him down. I think I'm going to use my other glue. here. Okay. So if, you, or if you're punching real thin paper and you just can't get it to punch, that's you need to get uh, something a little bit thicker. Mind it, but don't go too thick or you won't get, it won't punch still. Because you've got it too thick and your punch just can't do it. There we go. Okay, so I have botanicals, fabric, texture, and label. All right, I will hold this up for you. Here we go. 
thank you for joining me today. I hope that you're having a blessed day, and I will be seeing you soon. Bye-bye.